Uh, with stocks, meantime, near record highs, many investors are asking one question. Is the market getting too expensive? The answer, never simple, is not simple now. Mike Santoli takes a look. The value of the U.S. stock market has never been higher. Does that mean stocks are very expensive? Or do record low interest rates make them relatively cheap? Market valuation can be viewed from several angles. And right now, some analysts make the case stocks are a bargain, while others insist they're a bubble. By the most traditional conservative method, stocks do appear to be pricey. Measured against recently depressed corporate profits, the S&P 500 index trades at the high end of its historical range. Wall Street pros, of course, tend to focus on the coming year's projected earnings, which are expected to begin growing again in the second half of this year. On this basis, stocks are still more expensive than their long-term average, though not by much. But don't today's extremely low interest rates promote higher equity valuations, as many investors have been taught? Well, yes and no. Low rates certainly enable stocks to reach loftier valuations as interest costs fall and investors stretch for returns. Still, buying stocks at high values tends not to produce great long-term returns no matter where interest rates are at the time of purchase. There is one way, though, that low bond yields are directly inflating stock values by driving investors into stocks that pay decent dividends. In fact, the sectors favored by dividend investors, utilities, telecom, consumer staples, and real estate, together have the highest valuations versus those companies' earnings. All other sectors combined trade at more reasonable levels, assuming the current expectations for a rebound in earnings growth of nearly 10 percent comes to pass over the next few quarters. Much has to go right for investors to enjoy substantial gains from today's record high stock prices, but a bounce back in corporate profits could indeed make stock values today appear quite fair, even if they're no obvious bargain. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Mike Santoli at the New York Stock Exchange.